A director who puts a personal stamp on their or another's material has a right to claim authorship of the final product as an extension of their own vision. But why should a director receive all of the credit if there were dozens, if not hundreds of other individuals who were vital in one way or another to bringing that vision to the screen? In the case of 1959's Teenagers from Outer Space, there is absolutely no doubt that it is the work of one man. The auteur theory, which is admittedly helped when there are multiple films to examine, is still on full display since Tom Graff is the credited writer, producer, and director, but in truth he was also the uncredited cinematographer, editor, music coordinator of the stock music, special effects supervisor, as well as an actor playing the supporting role of Joe Rogers. Despite laughable effects and a silly title, this is a surprisingly well-plotted film with passable, if unremarkable, performances. I found myself rather taken with the plight of Derek the Alien, who breaks off from his extraterrestrial crew and finds love while also trying to save Earth from being overrun by monstrous lobster creatures known as Gargons. Sure, the effects are hokey or non-existent, the bit players are stiff as a board, and the movie uses your average stock music. None of that bothers me in the least. This movie has heart, plain, and simple. Thanks to some good work by its leads, clear and uncluttered direction, and especially a well-executed screenplay, Teenagers from Outer Space is very good indeed. An underrated gem? Compared to the other movies that deserve that status, no. But compared to other sci-fi flicks from the 50s, this one is something special. Would you like to know more about this film? Click on the link below. Feel free to like and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching.